How you doing? This is Mike here. Um, wanted to do a review today on my 1973 Gibson L6S. Um, these guitars were designed by Bill Lawrence, famous pickup ma pickup maker. Um, he worked for Gibson for a period of time, and they asked him to come up with a guitar that could compete with what Fender was putting out with at the time. And uh, they came up with this. It's called the L6S. Um, these were endorsed by Santana, Al Dimiola, um, Paul Stanley, a few other guitar players in the 70s. And uh, I believe what L6S means, L is for Lawrence, 6 is for the 6 position rotary knob you have on here for 6 different tones, and S is for Santana. That's what I believe the S is for. Um, very versatile guitar at the time. Um, still, they, these were the hottest output pickups that were created by Gibson at the time. This is before there was a lot of boutique pickups you can buy. There wasn't a huge aftermarket uh, pickup thing back in the early 70s. So uh, you basically got what you got, and that was what came with the guitar. So they uh, came up with some high power pickups, six different configurations. Um, it's made out of solid maple with a solid maple neck, really thin profile, really, really fast neck. Um, uh, just really, really cool. It, to me, it looks like a, uh, like a pregnant Gibson Les Paul that's anorexic. <laughs> it's uh, really thick and really thin. Um, it's got a bright sound to it because it is made out of maple and not mahogany. Uh, Another cool feature is it's got three knobs. This is volume. This here is a mid boost. It's a mid pot, so you can boost the mids on the guitar or take them off. And this, of course, is your tone, your treble, which is like any other guitar. You can turn it on or turn it off. It's got six different positions. Um, the first one, I have notes here on what the pickup configurations are. The first one is both pickups in series. This is a nice sound with distortion on. What I like to do, what's also cool about this sound is you get a multitude of different tones out of it by adjusting the mid knob and the treble. You can get a million tones out of this guitar. It's really, really cool. Uh, Santana said it was his rainbow. He got so many different colorings out of it. Um, really, really cool guitar. Anyway. So I'm going to play the first position, this is with distortion, and uh, this is both pickups in series. What I like to do is I turn the mid all the way down, I turn the treble all the way off, crank it, and I try to get the sound that I like out of it. It's uh, thick and dirty, uh, really nice. It's both pickups in series. Uh, number two is the neck pickup alone, and this is nice. Gives you that thick, you know, neck pickup kind of tone rhythm. Um, again, I turn the treble in the mid all the way down. Uh, this is with distortion on. It's kind of heavy distortion, but uh, gives you a nice sound. <laughs> Kind of a kind of less poly, a little bit thinner. It's got like a, it's interesting, almost like a uh, a Rickenbacker type tone to it. it. The pickups are definitely different than your standard Gibson pickups. Uh, they have a different kind of tone. Cool. Um, three is both pickups in parallel. So one was in both pickups in series. Three now is both pickups in parallel. This is kind of a thin nasally type sound. And I'll show you, I'll crank up the, uh, the mids and the treble. 
You'll hear it. It's definitely nasally. It's a nasally song. Restricted through a series capacitor, so it, uh, it it restricts the bass response in the neck pickup, and just gives you a really nice tone. Let me. Uh, what I'll do is I'll turn these off again, then treble in the mid. Turn the volume all the way up. These pickups are powerful. I'll tell you. Number six is uh, these are both pickups in series and out of phase. So, and this is a nice position too. It's got it's got some good uh, good power to it. So uh, again, I turn the middle and the treble off, trying to get a good tone out of it. This is a 1973, like I said. Um, great guitar, lots of different uh, tone combinations. Uh, mess around with your mid and your treble. You can get a million tones out of this guitar. Uh, for a nice rhythm sound on clean, put it on uh, four and just mess with the mid and the treble a little bit. You get that nice jazz sound, kind of uh, thick, almost like a Les Paul neck position. Um, Really, really great guitar. Really different. Uh, the body's kind of funky looking, but it does grow on you after a while. I, I love this guitar. Uh, just really cool. So if you can, if you can find one, I definitely recommend it. The neck is fast and playable. Uh, again, it's a Gibson L6S. Have a good day. <laughs> 